With state lawmakers return to Albany on Monday, another agenda item for Governor Andrew Cuomo will surface. That's more gun safety legislation. Some GOP lawmakers from Western New York say they'll debate and oppose them, but realize they can't stop them with Democrats now in control. We don't need less gun control. We need more sensible gun control. And the governor setting a tone for state lawmakers. As it is expected, new measures will pass next week. A ban on bump stocks, which convert a semi-automatic weapon to near automatic fire. A firearm violence research program in the SUNY system for more gun control options. And an extended waiting list for a potential gun buyer who does not immediately clear a background check. But the most contentious may be the red flag element, which allows family members, schools and law enforcement to seek a court order to remove access to guns from anyone deemed a threat to others or themselves. Some Republican lawmakers say it goes too far without qualified assessments of the risk factor. They propose instead immediately bring in a mental health professional to assess it. If there has been a history, this can be brought forth, but they're allowing individuals to make a decision based upon on unfounded allegations. Opponents also cite due process concerns for owners to reclaim weapons if there's no valid threat and overall with these new measures. The wording of the bills and how they're going to be applied really is designed, uh, in my view, to reduce legal gun ownership, reduce access to legal guns while doing nothing to reduce access to illegal weapons. But the governor again proudly citing the original SAFE Act. We passed the toughest gun safety law in the United States of America after the Sandy Hook massacre in Connecticut. I took a lot of political heat for it. It was the first in the nation. Now another measure covering gun storage in a home with minors may be considered in Albany as well.